in this class we are going to see what enums are in Java enums have been introduced from Java 1.5 okay an enum is basically a type whose fields are a fixed set of constants so because they are constants the names of the enums type fields should be in uppercase letters generally it's a convention to represent constants as uppercase letters so if I have like an enum which represents a day of the week and I'm calling that enum as day so all the days of the week are from Sunday all the way to Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and they are all listed out comma separated okay an enum is, is just like a class instead of using public class you say public enum okay so whenever you need to represent a fixed set of constants then it should indicate to you that you should be using an enum instead of a class some examples are like the months of the year starting from January to December the days of the week from Monday to Sunday if there are some entries in a menu those could be a good example for an enum colors if you're representing some colors then you can represent it as enum an enum containing red green blue yellow and let's say if you want to represent the directions on a compass like north south west east those four directions can be represented as a enum so enums are just like classes so they can have fields and methods fields are used to represent the state of the class and methods are for showing some behavior and all enums they implicitly extend the java.lang.enum since they already extend something since and java does not support multiple inheritance an enum will not be able to extend anything else in java a class can extend only one other class right because of that restriction an enum cannot extend anything else because it already extends java.lang.enum and enums are type safe so they provide compile time error checking especially when you're trying to assign an enum to something else the left hand side and the right hand side types should both be of the same enum type if they don't match then Eclipse or the compiler will give an error, error. and you can also use an enums values inside of a switch statement okay and enum has a default to string method which returns the enum value as a string but this to string can be overridden even for the enum just like you can override the to string method for a class you can override the to string method for an enum an enum has a values method which returns an array of all the enum values so you can use the values method to iterate over all the values of an enum and they can be used in collections as objects instead of using integer values if you do that then there is no boxing or unboxing required whereas if you use in primitive ints since collections can only contain objects you have to con there is the primitive ints are converted to the integer wrapper types the integer object and then they are also uh, that is called boxing and unboxing is when the integer wrapper type is converted to uh, the primitive int so we don't so uh, that does not happen so they are they can be used more efficiently in collections as objects instead of using primitive ints and they also implement the comparable and serializable interfaces and finally Java provides set a high performance Im Im implementations set and map implementations for enums so there is a there is a class called enum set and there is a class called enum enum map for an enum set all the members of that enum set must be of the same enum type you cannot combine e enums from two different enum values from two different enum types so f so for example if you have like the day of the week and colors you cannot add both of them in the same enum set they all have to be of the same enum set same enum type and enum set can also be used to support iteration over a range of enum types let's say you have the months from month, uh, January to December 
you can say I want to iterate only from March to June so it's going to print March April May June so you can specify that I want a range of enum values but all the, the range they should be consecutive values then there is an enum map which is provides almost the same speed as an array and if you want to map an enum to a value you should use an enum map instead of an array and this enum map internally it uses an array and so it always provides a better performance than hash maps so let's now look, look at an example of how enums can be used in Java so here I have a class called example enum where I have the month enum type which takes the values of the months of the year from January to December and then I have another enum type called colors called red which contains red yellow and green so what I can do is I can print all the enum values for the enum type month by using the values method and then I am using this enhanced for loop in the enhanced for loop you have a colon which separates the right side which is a collection and the left side is each value that is returned each value of this values it collection and the type of this M should be the type of the objects contained inside this which is the month type and then I can print each value of the enum and it's going to print January to December similarly if I want to convert like let's say a string to an enum I can use this value of method and I can give a string to it and it's going to give me an enum type I'm calling it as my month then I can if I print it out it's going to invoke the two it's going to implicitly invoke the two string method of that enum and it's going to print July and then I have the concept of an enum set with the enum set I can print a range of values like I mentioned earlier so so I can print a range of consecutive values from May to October and it's going to print that again I'm using an enhanced for loop and then finally I can store like enum values instead of a map so I'm creating this map which is an enum map which I mentioned is a high performance map implementation for an enum so the keys in the map can be the enum values so I'm putting colors.red, colors.green, colors.yellow and the value is some string color of blood, color of leaves, color of flowers and I can enum, I can iterate over this the key set of this enum map and then for each color I can get the corresponding value and print out both the color and the value the color is a key and the value is a value in the map so let's run this program and here you will see the output first I'm printing all the enum values of month month is the enum type then I'm converting a string to an enum and I'm printing the, the value of that enum then here I'm iterating over a range of enum values from May to October and then finally I'm printing the key value pairs inside of an enum map which contains the colors and which contains the color as the key in the map and a string as a value of the map so try this example out and try to understand enums